Hallelujah. We can remember again this song after many, many years. Hallelujah. We could sing and dance the whole day. Because it was really a wonderful song. Hallelujah. Amen. To sing with your heart for your King of Kings. Yeah. With your strength, you sing for your Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. We are here to praise the name of the Lord. So we are not here to praise any other person. But we are here to praise the Lord who has created us. Hallelujah. There is a joy always to be in the house of the Lord. So I welcome again everybody in the church. May God bless you for deciding to come to worship him. So you are not losing anything to be at this moment. Here. But in contrary, you are gaining. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you because you discover that it is better to be in the house of the Lord at this moment. David said, I was happy when I was called to be in the house of the Lord. So I'm also happy to find myself in the house of the Lord. So I believe you too, you are happy to be in this place. Hallelujah. So we need to reflect our joy and our, and our and our happiness in the house of the Lord. So today we're going to speak about something. We're going to speak about jealousy. Hallelujah. Amen. All of us, we know jealousy. And we're going to speak about this in one perspective of the Bible. But this topic, you can take it in many, many different ways. But it depends with the speaker. Hallelujah. The way Pastor Mondo will take this topic, maybe will not the way uh, James will take this topic. So that it is depend with the inspiration of God how he wants to inspire you to deal with that topic. Hallelujah. That's the way the Holy Spirit speaks. He speak to you to one way. He speak to you to another way. And he speak to another person to another way. But all those things are for the glory of the Lord. Hallelujah. The Bible speaks about jealousy. But the question is, is jealousy a good thing? If we start by a question. To be jealous toward another person, is it a good thing? Hallelujah. Amen. Somebody may say it's not good, somebody may say it's good. But here we're going to take one's perspective that the Lord has given me to approach this topic. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Please. I will ask Mama Helen and Papa Helen may you please come forward. Hallelujah. 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 Toward the congregation. It's a Christian couple we know. They love the Lord. They serve the Lord. And we can testify about them. So I will ask one, one of them. Servant of God, Charles. Is jealousy a good thing? Is jealousy a good thing, Mama Helen? It's jealousy that's the one area, one level of the question. I'm saying that is my one level of the question. So I'm going to my second level of the question. Uh, Papa Helen, is jealousy good toward your wife? 
na nauliza papa Charles wivu ni mzuri kwa mke wako Jealousy is not good to ward your wife. Na najibu hapana, chikwifu sio mzuri kama namsikia mke wake wivu. Why is not why is not good? Kwa sababu ukikuwa na wivu, hautaomba tena vizuri. Okay. Akili yako yote itakuwa kwa mwanamke tu. Hallelujah. Na utasahau kazi yako. So you mean you cannot have jealousy to ward your wife? Na maanisha hawezi kuwa na wivu kwa mke wake. Mama Helen, can you have jealousy to what you? Mama Helen, no reason for na wivu kwa mke wako. Mama Helen, Mama Helen says yes. Let us let us let, let us now listen for Mama Helen why she says that sometimes she can have jealousy to what? Sikiliza sasa Mama Helen. Namna gani anasema ndio wivu ni mzuri kutokwa mke wake atueleze hii. Sema mama. Wivu kwa mke wangu. Maybe you can use a microphone. Yes. Okay. Sorry. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Naweza eh, swali la kwanza eh, mchungaji Manuel aliuliza kama wivu ni mzuri tukasema hapana Kisha akasema wivu ni mzuri kwa mume wako mimi nasema ndio kwa nini Mtu kimpenda anamsikilia wivu Amena Huyu ni mume wangu Kisha Siwezi pendelea nione Anafanya mambo isiyo nipendeza mie ni, ni, ni sema wivu haiko mbaya hapana hata tukao wa Kristo yeah. ile unaposhu kusikilia mume wako wivu kama yeye amsikilie ni up to yeye <laughs> mie naposhu kusikilia wivu sio mume wangu siwezi muona iko nafaa mambo siwezekana ni ni achilie tu ni niseme ni mtumishi wa Mungu hapana yako mama ni wangu amen Hallelujah. God bless you. Mungu awabariki. As I have said in the beginning. Na kama vile niliongea mwanzoni. So I said that this topic of jealousy can be dealt with uh, many many approaches. Na kama vile nilisema somo hili la wivu inaweza ikaongelewe na watu tofauti kwa njia tofauti. So today we are not only talking about jealousy itself. Na leo sitaongelea tu juu ya wivu peke yao. But we are talking about the jealousy of God. Lakini tutaongea juu ya wivu wa Mungu. It means sometimes God also is jealous. Ni inamaanisha ya kwamba Mungu naye ana wivu. As Mama Helen said that sometimes he can she can have jealousy toward her husband. Ni kama vile mama yetu anasema anaweza kuwa na wivu kwa mgambo ya mume wake. Hallelujah. She's right to say so. Na ako na anaongea ukweli na Because we are to read the scripture. Na tunataka kusoma maandiko. In the Bible we show us that also sometimes God is jealous toward his people. Tuone vile Mungu naye anaweza kukuwa na wivu kupitia kwa watu wake. Hallelujah. We are to read the book uh, in the book of the Deuteronomy. Na tunataka kusoma katika kitabu ya kumbukumbu la Torati. Chapter uh, 32 verse 16. Makumi 3 na 2. Deuteronomy chapter uh, 32 verse 16. Mkumbukumbu la Torati 13 na 2 and verse 16. Na mstari wako ya 16. Sister, do you have a Bible in English? Yes, you can read in English. Somebody else will read for us directly in Swahili. The only one verse 16. Yeah. Torati 2 verse 16. Na maandiko yanatuambia hivi. They stir up, up his jealousy by worshiping foreign gods. They provoked his fury with disastable deeds 16 years hallelujah amen charles i don't know if you have a bible now in swahili yeah 
Walimfanya aone wivu mkali kwa miungu yao. Walimchochea akasirike kwa matendo yao ya kushukiza. Haleluya. Haleluya. So we are reading the Bible and the Bible the scripture is very very clear. Na tunasoma maandiko hapa na iko wazi kabisa. So in my scripture in my version the Bible says they made him to be jealous with their foreign gods and angered him with their detestable idols. Na inasema walimfuzirikisha Mungu katika hali ya maabudu kwa kuabudu miungu mingine na wakachochea wivu ndani yake. Hallelujah. They made who to be jealous? They made our creator, they made God to be jealous. Walimfanya nani kuwa na wivu? Walimfanya Mungu awe na wivu. The children of Israel, they made the Lord to be uh, to be jealous towards themselves because of what they started doing. Na hapa inasemea wana wa Israeli ambao walifanya ile walitaka kufalifanya na wakamfanya Mungu awezi kuwa na wivu. In the Bible they say the Bible says this here in the scripture. Na maandiko ya Mungu yanasema hivi. It means they made him uh, to be jealous because of the foreign god they started worshiping. Walimfanya Mungu awe na wivu kwa sababu ya miungu ambao walianza kuabudu. Hallelujah. It means God can also be uh, can be angered because of what you are doing. Inamaanisha Mungu anaweza kuwa na hasira kupitia ile ambao uko unatenda. Especially if you start worshiping other idols, the Bible says that he's jealous, he's jealous toward you. Na ikiwa unaanza kuabudu miungu ingine, inamfanya Mungu awezi kuwa na wivu kwako wewe. So the Bible says that God became jealous because of the children of Israel what they started doing worshiping other idols. Na walifanya Mungu awe na wivu kwa sababu walianza kuabudu miungu mingine so, na Mungu akawa na wivu juu so yao. So God detested them because they started worshiping other idols as a god. Yaani wivu ya Mungu ni kwa sababu walianza kuabudu miungu mingine kumliko yeye. It means as Christian also We are a church. Na tuko hapa kanisa. We have been bought by the blood of Jesus Christ. Na tumenunuliwa kwa damu ya Yesu. And it's a precious blood. Na ni damu ya samani kubwa. Hallelujah. Amen. So God he gets mad on you when you start worshiping as a god. Na Mungu anakuwa na hasira wakati unaanza kumgeukea miungu mingine na kumwacha yeye. Hallelujah. Amen. When you start having some other idols na wakati unaanza kujifanyia sanamu za kuabudu God is not happy of that. Mungu hafurahikii yale uko natenda. So that's why we are talking about the jealousy of God, the jealousy toward his people. Na ile inamaanisha wivu wa Mungu kupitia watu wake. It means at certain moment the children of Israel they started now worshiping other god, worshiping other idols apart from their creator. Na ilifanya wakati mwingine Israeli walianza kuabudu miungu mingine umbali mbali na Mungu aliyewaumba. Remember in the commandment of God the Bible says you should not have another god apart from me. Na ukumbuke amri inasema usiwe na miungu mingine ila mimi tu. Hallelujah. It is God who wants to be worshiped himself no other person. Mungu anataka umwabudu yeye mwenyewe tu usimchanganishe na mwingine. And when you go be you go eh, eh, you go eh, apart from that eh, commandment. Na wakati unaanza kutorokea hiyo amri ya Mungu. He's not happy. Hafurahiki. Hallelujah. He is jealous toward you. Anakuwa na wivu kwako. And if he is to rebuke you he can rebuke you. Na kama anaweza kukulaani anaweza kukulaani. Hallelujah. Amen. So the Bible it says that God he became really anger when he saw the children of Israel Na, start worshiping as idols and as a god. Na maandiko yanatuambia kwamba Mungu akawa na hasira kubwa wakati aliona Israel na mkeokia na anaanza kuabudu miungu mingi. It means we can understand here that there is a negative jealousy and there is also a positive jealousy. Na inaotuonyesha hapa kama kuna wivu mbaya na kuna wivu mzuri. Praise the name of the Lord. There is a bad jealousy and there is also a good jealousy. Na kuna wivu mzuri. Hallelujah. In this perspective when you are talking about the jealousy of God to one his people, we are talking about the positive jealousy. Na wakati tunaposoma maandiko hapa ya wivu wa Mungu, ni wivu mzuri kwa kupitia watu wake. Hallelujah. Maybe the servant of God church could go in detail to speak about the negative jealousy maybe. Na wakati mwingine maybe papa Charles angeongea kuhusu wivu mbaya. Hallelujah. Because there is a positive jealousy and there is also the negative jealousy. Kwa sababu kuna wivu mbaya pia na kuna wivu mzuri. But in this topic we are talking about lakini kwa somo hili la leo the Bible God is telling us that as Christians ambao maandiko yako natuambia sisi wa Kristo Mungu we need to be obedient inabidi tuwe waaminifu kwa word his word. Tuweze kuwa watiifu kwa neno lake. Hallelujah. If you are not obedient, na kama hatuko watiifu, God is not going to be happy of Mungu hataweza kutufurahia. With what we are doing. Katika yote tuko tunatenda. Hallelujah. 
Because the children of Israel, God did so many things for them. He delivered them from the hands of Pharaoh. And they went in the wilderness there. Some they, they passed away in the wilderness. And others they were able to enter the promised land. Hallelujah. It happened one time. After doing those miracles, killing the army of the Pharaoh which was coming behind to kill them, they forgot all the miracles God did for them. And they started to basclide. Hallelujah. And when they start to basclide, God was not happy of them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are a Christian. God brought you already in his salvation. You have been brought by his blood. And that blood is very, very expensive. What they don't expect from you, he wants you to be obedient and to worship him himself. No other God should be in front of you. You are trying to worship. Hallelujah. This is the message I'm bringing to you today. That God is jealous of us when we try to go astray and when we refuse to obey what he's telling us to do. Exodus chapter four, uh, 34 verse 14 in the Exodus now in 34 14 the Bible says do not worship any other God for the Lord whose name is Jealous is a jealous God. Hallelujah. Amen. The name of God is called Jealous. Hallelujah. Amen. The name of God is called Jealous. Hallelujah. Amen. And he is jealous to whatever everybody he bought by his price, by his precious blood. What I would like to tell you, my sister, my brother. When you must cry, your God, your creator is not hard of that. He suffered to see you coming back again where you are. He suffered when he see you returning back again in the sea where he took you. Hallelujah. He suffered a lot to see that. It means he's not happy to see you going back where he took you. And the Bible is telling, it, telling us that his, his name is Jealous. Hallelujah. He's jealous when he sees his people going back again in the sea. Why he's jealous? Because he loves us. Hallelujah. Amen. If you love your neighbor, if truly you love your friend, you don't see him continue to be in sin and you cannot even tell him anything. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You need to help him in a good manner so that he can, he can live where he is. He can live where he is. Hallelujah. By love. It means God is jealous because of his love. Hallelujah. His love, what he did. He gave his begotten son to come and die for us here on earth. Hallelujah. Something which was special. Hallelujah. He gave his begotten son to come here on earth to suffer, to be beaten, like some, and he did not do, do anything. So that you and I, we can receive salvation. The love of God makes him to be jealous when he sees his church returning in the sin. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. That is what we are talking here about the jealousy of God. In Hebrew, in Hebrew, jealousy means kana. Kana. Hallelujah. Amen. It means kana. 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 
And if I try to do a certain association, this Hebrew language, in Swahili, there's something sounding like Kana. In Swahili, it says Kukana. Kukana. Hallelujah. Kukana. Kukana. It means to refuse. Hallelujah. Amen. It means God, He refuses every, every time you want to eat and something very bad. He says, No, I don't want to see you, my son, going there. Na Mungu anakataa wakati wote naona mtoto wake kuingia katika zambi na kuambia mwanangu usiende hapa. Hallelujah. He says kana he says no. Anasema kana inamaanisha hapana usiende. You are my son. Uko mwanangu. You are my daughter. Uko mwanangu. I don't want to see you again returning where I took you. Sitaki nikuone mahali utendo narudi pale nilikotoa. Praise the name of the Lord. Jina la Bwana. Amen. We need to excel. We need to go forward instead of going back. Inamaanisha lazima tusonge mbele kuliko kurudi nyuma. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Jina la Bwana alibariki. God does not allow to share his glory with another person. Mungu hataki agawe heshima zake na sifa zake na mtu mwingine. Hallelujah. And when we talk about idols, na wakati tunaongea miungu, idol can mean so many things surrounding you. Miungu inamaanisha vitu vingi ambavyo zinakusingia. Hallelujah. You can you can worship your car. Unaweza kuabudu gari lako. Hallelujah. And when I talk about worship your car, na wakati naongea kwa maabudu ya gari, it means you are not going there and you go down in front of your car. Simanisho nenda unapiga magoti mbele ya gari. It means simply that Inamaanisha your car is your first position in your Inamaanisha gari lako unaliweka katuango cha mbele ya kwanza kwa maisha yako. Hallelujah. Do you understand what you are talking about here to worship something? Inamaanisha unaelewa kiwango na sinaeleza kuhusu kuabudu kitu. It means your car inamaanisha gari lako takes the first position in your life. Inachukua mahali pa kwanza kwa maisha yako. Hallelujah. Where how can take your car to be something first in your life? Namna gani unaweza kukamata gari kwa kitu ya samani sana katika And you forget that this is something which is material. Na unasahau kama hii kitu ni vitu tu ambavyo viliumbwa kwa tengenezo. All materials have been created by God. Na vitu zote zinatengenezwa ni Mungu alimpa maana. Hallelujah. It means to worship something inabidi kwa kuabudu kitu is to put it in the first position na unaweka kwa kilengo kia mbele instead of putting your lord to be in the first position baada ya kuweka kuliko kuweka mungu kwa kiwango cha mbele hallelujah there is a verse kuna maandiko i enjoy a lot ambaye anafurahia zaidi seek first my kingdom tafuta kwanza ufalme wa mungu hallelujah i enjoy a lot that verse na anafurahia sana andiko lile it speaks a lot about christian a christianity ambaye anasema kuhusu wa kristo Seek first my kingdom. Tafuta kwanza ufalme wa mbingu. The kingdom of God. Ufalme wa mbingu. And my righteousness. Na na haki zake. And everything. Na mengine ipo yote. Everything without exception. Na mengine yote bila exception. When you talk about everything. Na na unaposema mengine ipo yote. It includes now everything now that you want to have in your life. Ina maanisha yote vile unaweza kutaka kwa maisha. It means your car, your house, everything. Ina maanisha gari lako, nyumba, kila kichote kile. Shall be added unto you. Itaongezewa zaidi juu yako. Hallelujah. Amen. Can you understand really the heaviness of this scripture? Mnaelewa uzito wa maandiko hili. It says. Inasema seek fast. Tafuta kwa. It says seek fast. Inasema tafuta kwa. It doesn't say seek. Inasema tafuta. It says seek fast. Inasema tafuta kwa. It means God is number one in your life. Yeye ni maisha Mungu ni namba moja kwa maisha yako. Hallelujah. Amen. I don't think you understand something here. Sioni kama mnaelewa zaidi. Seek fast. Tafuta kwa. It doesn't say seek second. I say tafuta ya pili. Or seek third. Lakini nasema ama ya tatu. Seek fast. Inasema tafuta ya kwanza. Hallelujah. You see some that why we are in trouble. Tunaelewa namna gani tunakuwa katika shida. God is telling us to seek him first. Mungu anatuambia tumtafute kwanza yeye. But we are seeking him after. Lakini tunamtafuta yeye kwanza faa. Hallelujah. Understand why sometimes we are in trouble. Na ndio sababu gani hiyo tunachukua ndani ya shida. There is a service on Sunday. Na kuna kwa ibada katika hali ya ya Jumapili. And you you already you already have a schedule, you have a schedule. Na unakuwa na na utaratibu yote. Somebody is phoning you the same day on Sunday. Na mtu anakuita hiyo hiyo siku ya 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 Jumapili hiyo. Please could we go for a party? Na wanakuambia tunaweza enda kwa kwa sherehe. And you already have a program to go to church. Na unashikwa na mpangilio kabisa ya kwenda kanisani. You need not to balance. 
Na unaanza sa kupima. You need to balance. Unaanza kupima. Am I going to the party? Niende kwa sherehe. Or I have to go to worship my God. Ama niende kwa kutu Mungu wangu. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Jina la Bwana libariki. You put God first. Uweke Mungu kwa and other things shall be added unto you. This is what we are talking about. Na ile ndio tuko tunaongelea. No, they don't want you to seek him first. Na Mungu anataka mtafute kwanza na baba. After seeking first him. Na baada ya kumtafuta yeye. Continue searching for his righteousness. Na uotafute pamoja na haki zake zote. Hallelujah. Amen. Righteousness. Haki zake zote. To be righteous. Kukuwa mwenye haki. And after. Na baadaye. You are in those ukikuwa ndani ya hizo obligations katika zile mashutuko the lord says that anasema, everything now shall be added up mengine yote everything you shall pray mengine yote ambayo utaona god will offer to you atakupea kwa kwa everything you will request na yote utaomba god will give you atakupea if you need a nice car na ukitaka if you need a nice house ukitaka nyumba nzuri if you need i don't know what hapa nini ambayo you want to travel kama unataka kutafuta god will open the doors mungu atafungua milango why kwa sababu gani? Because you prepared already your blessing. Kwa sababu ulishatafuta baraka zako. Your blessing is already open for you. Baraka zako is open for you already. Ile mesha fumuliwa so that you can grab those blessings with you. Ile wewe usipozichukua sasa. Praise the name of the Lord. Jina la Bwana ni. What if we seek you seek God second? Lakini tunamtafuta Mungu kwa toa ya blocking your blessing. Tunazuia baraka. Hallelujah. God will tell you you don't know what you are doing. Na Mungu anasema sijui uko unafanya nini. Hallelujah. Amen. You are seeking first for a car. Unatafuta kwanza gari. Something which can be destroyed in two days. Ambayo inaweza gongwa na inaharibika kwa sababu. Hallelujah. Amen. But you forget to seek somebody who will, who will run forever. Na unataka kutafuta yule anaye atawala milele and will keep your life forever. Na ambaye atachukua maisha yako milele. Praise the name of the Lord. Jina la Bwana libariki. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do you hear what I'm talking about? Unaelewa na kusikia. Can you give an amen there? Unaweza sema amen. Hallelujah. Seek God. Tafuta kwanza Mungu. And your blessing will come. Na baraka zako zitakuja. Hallelujah. Like water in the river. Like kama vile maji. Hallelujah. Amen. God does not allow to share his glory with another person. Mungu hataki uugawe sifa zake na, na Mungu. It means your attention or our attention should be devoted to him. Ina inamaanisha kila yote maarifa yako akili zako ziwe zake. The jealousy of God is a strong attachment to what his people. Na kwa sababu hiyo upendo wa Mungu iko kwa watoto wake. Strong attachment to what his people that is what means jealousy of God. Kwa sababu anatupenda sana yuko pamoja nasi na ni sababu ya hiyo wivu wake iko juu ya watoto wake. As Mama Helen was trying to say here. Na Mama Helen alikuwa na haki ya kwa jealous. Anasikia wivu. What? Her husband. Anaona wivu kwa mume wake. When she sees. Wakati anaona that, that he is in a wrong way wakati iko katika hali ambayo isiyo fair there's no wrong with that when she's jealous in that way kati hakuna ubaya kusema wakati mtu anaona mume wake yuko katika njia mbaya na hallelujah because you are protector of one another kwa sababu wanajitunza mmoja my husband has to protect you na mume wake anapaswa kumchunga yeye your husband has to protect you na mwana bibi wake pia and your wife also should protect you na mke pia anaweza hallelujah there's a mutual protection na kuna kuwa ile mawasiliano ya Yesu is that your husband is going to a place which is not good. Na wako tunaona mume wako yuko kwa njia mbaya. You need to forbid him to go there. Hautamuruhusu kwa sababu don't forbid him. Kwa sababu wakati wa mzuri when he falls. Na wakati ataanguka. Don't cry. Usilie. Don't cry. Usilie. Hallelujah. You need to take some barrier. Unapaswa kuweka mipaka. You need to know your space. Na ujili tie. What is the space of your wife? What is the space of your husband? Na ujue mazingira yako na kuna pia you should not accept everybody to eat in your space. Husband and wife they have their own space. Na mke na mume wanakuwa na space. Nobody should come and share such space. Na hakuna mtu anaweza kuwa na space. Because that space is holy. Sababu ya mipaka ni takatifu. Hallelujah. That space is holy. Hiyo mipaka yao iko God has united you to be together. Na Mungu aliwaweka kwa pamoja. You should not think wrong. Na kama kuna inje kitu mbaya. Don't interfere with what God joy. Na ina ambayo inaweza kuwa kuzuri na kuvuta Mungu aliweza kwa you need to live you Lakini ukisema hiyo ndio itafanyika. My husband. Ni bwana wangu. I'm sure of him. Ah, ninamwaminia. Then nothing will happen. Ah, hakuna kitu kitafanyika. So, he's always like that. Anakwenda tu hivyo. Tomorrow don't cry. Kesho usilie. Tomorrow don't cry. Kesho usilie. You will cry your tears will go down. Utalia machozi yako yatakuja. Na hakuna mtu atakucha huko. 
because you do not protect what is precious. Hallelujah. Are we together, church? Are we together? You need to protect your husband. You need to protect your wife. Because you are jealous toward one another. And this jealousy is a positive jealousy. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm not saying every time you see maybe your wife with somebody. And you start now thinking about negative things. That's that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That now is bad. It means yourself you are not secure. Hallelujah. But if you see signs. Lakini kwa sababu unaona wakati unaona signs. Alama. You need to protect. Lazima uweze kuzikira hapo. Kwa sababu ya upendo. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Different from feeling that creates selfishness because of a certain insecurity. This jealousy of God is different from human feeling that creates selfishness and create also a certain insecurity. Na liumba pia ile umazingira ama ulinzi. Some, some people they are jealous. Kuna watu ambao wana uivu. Because they are on, only insecure. Kwa sababu hawana ile hiyo security. Hallelujah. Amen. They are not insecure. Kwa sababu hawajisikia kuwa na utulivu. They, 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 are, they are jealous to other people. Na kukosa ile utulivu wanakuwa na uivu kwa watu wengine. That is not, that's not the jealousy I'm talking about. Hiyo sio uivu ambao niko naongea. You are insecure. Kama una, una jikuta, na auko, ya kutulia, you need to manage that. Lazima uweze kujua namna gani ya kujitulia. Hallelujah. Amen. Somebody is promoted at work. Wakati mtu mwingine anainuliwa kazini, you start to be jealous. Una, unaanza kuwa na wivu. Negative jealous. Ile ni wivu mbaya. Hallelujah. Amen. Insecurity within yourself. Kukosa kutulia ndani mwako. Why mwako. him? Why him? Kwa sababu gani huyo? Kwa sababu tu gani huyo? Hallelujah. Yetu? This is not the jealousy you are talking about. Somebody has got a nice car. You start, you start, you start. You start to feel bad. Hallelujah. Amen. Negative jealousy. Hallelujah. Amen. You are jealousy toward material things that somebody else is trying to get. Hallelujah. Amen. That's not the jealousy you are talking about. That is the but we are talking about the jealousy of God. Because God wants to protect us. And if He wants to protect us, He does not want us to go to return back again in the mouth. Hallelujah. Are we together? Because I'm telling you, we talk about the jealousy. You are jealous. You are jealous. But you need to understand but it has a positive side also. And how you can use it in your life. Praise the name of the Lord. Insecurity can make you to not be confident. You can fail to achieve what you want to achieve because you are not positive in your life. It's the something you are missing today. Because if you tomorrow you can get it. Don't start crying. You are like somebody who is living for today. Hallelujah. Christian, we live today and we live tomorrow. Ah, we, are, we are not living only for today. But we live for today and we live for tomorrow. And what the meaning of faith? Hallelujah. Faith, you believe that you have already received some things that you have not seen. Hallelujah. That is faith. When you are happy, you are not Righteousness will live by faith. Don't be happy only when you see. If you see, it means you don't have faith. You see already that there is a problem. But believe that the drum is already here, even not you are not seeing. Faith is not a problem. Hallelujah. We are planning to have a drum. 
Tunakuja. We believe already that we have it. Tuna tunaamini kama tunaishi. Hata kama hatujaiona na macho yetu. Lakini tunaiona kwa imani, hiyo ndio imani. Praise the name of the Lord. When we say that we are healed. Wakati tunasema tumeponywa. Do we see any in our physiology that we are healed already? Tumeiona kabisa kwa macho yetu ya kinyama kama tumeponywa. Lakini tunaamini kama wakristo wameponywa. Hallelujah. Yeah. I pray Niliomba and I believe na ninaamini that I'm healed the name kama nimeponywa tayari. Hallelujah. Amen. That's the meaning of faith. Hiyo ndio inamaanisha imani. Are we together now? Toa kanisa pamoja. So jealousy is good to what children of God Wivu ni mzuri kwa watoto wa Mungu and they need also to know how to defend, how to uh, to make a difference between the negative jealousy and the positive jealousy. Ila tunaweza tujue kunamna gani ya kutofautisha na wivu mzuri. God is condemning the attitude of the children of Israel of not being thankful to him. Na wivu mzuri wakati watoto wana wa Israel hawakuwa na uaminifu kwa Mungu Mungu alikuwa na wivu juu yao. Because sometimes also we have to thank God for what he did for us. Na inamaanisha tu unaweza kuwa kushukuru Mungu kwa ile Mungu ambaye na tenda juu yetu. That's why at the end of year, the year sometimes. Na kwa sababu ya hiyo, we are here to thank God for everything he did. Tuko hapa ili tumsifu Mungu kwa ile yote alitutendea. Because if you live, kwa sababu kama tunaishi, you live by him. Tunaishi kwa ajili yake. Hallelujah. Amen. You live by the grace of the Lord. Tunaishi kwa ajili ya neema. You are living by your own. Hatuishi kwa ajili ya You are not living by your knowledge. Hatuishi kwa ajili ya kile kile. living by the one who is protecting. Tunaishi kwa ajili ya yule ambaye anatulinda na bwana alibariki. And when you know how to thank God, God, God is really is pray, he praises that. Na Mungu anafurahia sana katika hali ya maadui. Joy to see that motivation that his children anapenda aone ile ile uamsho kama kwa understand what he's doing in their in their lives. Na ile ambao Yesu Kristo anafanya katika maisha yetu. Praise the name of the Lord. Bwana alibariki. You know he says they forgot Wasto na Israel wale hawi the Lord did for them is Mungu aliwatendea. I remember when we are in camp in the, in the, in the camp. Na anakumbuka wakati walikuwa huko kambini. I will say. Na anasema. Oh my Lord. Na alikuwa anasema. If you take me abroad. Ukinitoa na kunipeleka huko ngambo. I will serve you. Nitakutumikia. I will serve you. Nitakutumikia. That was my prayer. Hiyo ndio ilikuwa ombi lake. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Up to day I'm serving him. Na hata leo anaendelea kumtumikia. Praise the name of the Lord. Chini na Bwana alibariki. I'm serving him. Anaendelea kumtumikia. I told him. Kwa sababu alimfanyia. You take me from where that is. Ukiniondoa tu hapa mahali niko. Lord, I will serve you. Mungu nitakutumikia. Your whole my life. Na kwa maisha yangu nitakutumikia. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Chini na Bwana alibariki. He is happy when we go in that mood. Na Mungu anafurahia sana wakati tunaenda katika hali lile. To know how to say thank, thank you. Tujue ni kisa kusema asante. I remember there is a there is a singer in Congo. Na nakumbuka kulikuwa mwimbaji huko Congo. When he started singing, na wakati anaanza kuimba. I enjoyed a lot to to listen from his song. Na alikuwa anafurahia sana kusikia wimbo wake. He is called Patrice. Anasema Pat, anaitwa Patrice. Hallelujah. Amen. He says some people they don't know how to say thank you. Anasema watu wengine hawajui kusema asante. But thank you is very very important. Lakini asante ni kitu ya maana sana. When I came here in Canada. Na wakati alikuja kwa Canada. I white people. Alienda kukundua kitu kile ambacho watu wengi wa Christians. Ambao ni wa Kristo. They learn how to say thank you. Yes. Wanajua hata kama si wa Kristo, wanajua kusema asante. Hallelujah. Amen. It's very very important. Ni kitu ya muhimu sana. Hallelujah. Amen. Is Christian also na wa Kristo pia. We should not how to say thank you to the Lord. Lazima tujue kisi ya kusema asante kwa sababu he did for us. Katika kila hali yote bwana tena. When we should do that. Na wakati tunaanza kufanya hivyo. He is not happy. Na kama tunasahau kutenda hiyo, hafurahiki. He sees that. Anatuona. We don't consider. Hatu hatuwezi ku, ku, ku elewa na kufahamu what his son Jesus. Ile ambao Yesu Kristo alifanya kwa msalaba. Because of you and us. Kwa sababu yako na mimi. Praise the Lord. Jina la bwana alibariki. Hallelujah. In chapter 32 verse 28 the Deuteronomy kumbukumbu la Torati the Deuteronomy 32:28 What the Bible says Biblia nasema God is saying to Israel You are a nation void of counsel neither is there any understanding in you So I you can read for us there Israel ni taifa jisilo na akili watu wake hawana busara ndani yao Benef Beti Yeah that's it's all is 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 in our Hallelujah Hallelujah He's continue saying Anaendelea kusema that Israel people ya kwamba Israel they not want even to listen from every counseling hawakutaka hata kusikia mashauri yoyote from the uh, leaders of Israel ambao wanaweza kupata 
Because they were not really accepting anything from him. They were rejecting everything which was good for their life. They broke the covenant of God. If the Bible says, they do not understand. They do not understand what the Lord did in their life. That's why they start going astray. And the church also, I wanted to share with you, talking of jealousy, you understand that God, He bought us with a very expensive price. And if we need to do what, we need normally to obey him and to worship him. No other God, we should obey him, we should worship him. Praise the name of the Lord. This is my subject, this is my topic. We need to maintain our covenant. We the covenant we took since the beginning. So that one day, we can enjoy Tuweze kufaikia. Tuweze kupokea. Very well. Ile zawadi. God is prepared for you. Ambao Mungu anaandaa kwa jinsi. The Lord is preparing you for a reward. Mungu iko naandaa zawadi kwa jinsi. Are going to be many rewards. Na Mungu anasema ni zawadi kubwa. Some people will receive one reward. Wengine wanapata moja. Others will receive two rewards. Lakini wengine wanapata mbili. It will depend on how you did here on. Ina inatofautiana vile unafanya kazi ya Mungu. Praise the name of the Lord. Jina la Bwana libariki. That will appear. Na ile itaonekana. With your obedience. Katika hali ya kuabudu na uti. The Lord to what the word of God. Ile utiifu kwa Mungu. Wakati ungali hapo kwa dunia. Wakati Mungu anatusamehe. You continue going back in the sea. Mungu atusamehe kuendelea kukorudi tena nyuma ndani ya sabi. You that he has saved us already. Na tujue kama ameshakutukubali tayari. Jina la Bwana libarikiwe. Praise the name of the Lord. Jina la Bwana libarikiwe. Did you forget your Lord? Unasahau upendo wako. Did you break your marriage? Una una ulifunja ile ushirika na Yesu. Ulifunja ile mawasiliano ya Mungu. Unateseka kwa jina yeye uokovu wa Mungu. Uko na angaika na kutakaseka kwa uokovu. Unajua mahali umesimama. Mungu anataka uuze Uweze tena kuhakikisha Mungu. You can enjoy what is really prepared for you. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. This is the message I'm bringing to you. I'm bringing to you a political message. I'm bringing you the message of the kingdom. It's not a message of a political party. But it's the message of the kingdom. And this message will undo Izi uchumbe inakuja kwako forever. Itabaki ndani yako mbele. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is the what? Hii ndio. I want to share with you. Nilitaka kungawa pamoja na nyinyi. God bless you. Na Mungu aweze kuwabariki. Amen. 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 Amen.